so the main function of the, di the digestive system is absorb nutrients and that seems obvious but yes it is important to absorb nutrients why so you need to break down food and then you also need to absorb that broken down food so then there's this weird uh, I don't know if it's a movement, I think, and some people say it's a cult, some type of people say it's a movement, but this crazy set, and I, I, I make no apologies, they are crazy, why? So they said, like, they, this person, <laughs> I'm trying to look at like, whoa, but she said, wants to become breathe Aryan. So these people believe that they can subside and live with just, without eating anything, without drinking anything, just breathing air. Yeah, they really believe that. And I, it's like, yeah, really? And do you believe it? I mean, yeah. And yeah, so it's like food-free lifestyle and haven't felt hungry. And it's really crazy, especially this couple, because, I mean, one, they forced their kids. That's child abuse. And two is that she pregnant a breatharian pregnancy. I'm like, what the heck? I mean, you are starving your future child. I'm like, no, nah, I caught, I mean, BS to begin with, but BS upon BS that you can't eat anything when you're pregnant. Come on, I'm just not, and no one was like, yeah, maybe they're not, they think they can breathe in the air, but I think air is all up in here for them. But anyway, and this one, this one, <laughs> it was really funny. And what always happens eventually with these people who believe this stuff, like you don't need food, you don't need nutrients. So it's really funny. Like she was caught by a reporter and she was checking in at British Airways. And the British airline clerk said like, hey, we have you down for a vegetarian meal. And she's like, oh, oh, that's not me. It must be some sort of mistake. Yeah, you got busted. But yeah, so again, why do we need nutrients? And again, go back back to energy. Well, one, if you don't eat, you can not only get angry, you get don't have the food sustenance to replenish your cells and get ATP so you have energy. And also maintenance. So again, remember your cells are always like, some cells are dying, so you need to think, get building materials for new cells to regenerate things that have been lost, like your neutrophils. Remember, every time you have an infection, a lot of these neutrophils die, and things like, any all your skin cells whenever you rub up against anything when you wash your hands a lot some skin cells get sloughed off so you need to repair those skin cells as well so remember this equation oh no 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 but okay let's make it so why are these breatharians crazy i mean okay so remember glucose plus oxygen so okay we'll give them the oxygen so it generates carbon dioxide water atp and heat so how about this breatharian barbie so what happens if you don't get carbon? What if you don't get any nutrients from carbon? Well, thing is that you can't do the Krebs cycle. That's where you get the carbon dioxide. You can't do the electron transport chain. That's where you get all the ATP. So how the hell are you going to get energy, Barbie? Yeah, get out of here. So again, breatharianism, it just doesn't make sense from physics, biochemistry, biology, physiology. So yeah, I mean, it sounds obvious, but it's like, okay, what bronze are you breaking and how are you transferring that to ATP? Tell me that. But anyway, so back to normal physiology and people who are sane. All right, to digestion. So again, food can't enter your cells directly. Why, again, can you take um, your, I guess, your local mocha and smash it on yourself and expect to get nutrition? It's, yeah, no. You can't just like put it on your face and put it on your body and expect to get nutrition. So you need to be break it down somehow. Not only do you need to break it down physically and smash into little pieces, you also need to process it chemically. So again, there's physical digestion. That means just breaking into smaller pieces and chemical digestion where you use chemicals and enzymes to break it down and break down your food into smaller particles that your cells can actually use. So you have to go from your original food all the way to these small nutrients that your cells can actually absorb and use. All right, so physical digestion. So this is my little birdie, Peanut, and he's keeping my mom, like she, yeah, it's actually kind of scary. She works at Tripler, and remember that person who was positive for, for coronavirus? So yeah, if you were like here last semester, you remember my mom, she spoke at the end, you know how great she is. Yeah, so we're waiting, we're hoping, but yeah, so he's keeping her company along with our little doggy. So thing is that, yeah, here's he, yeah, so whenever I get paid lunch hour and he's staying over at my house, I always get him a scoop of rice on the side so he can eat it. So he loves rice. It's like all these yummy nutrients for him. So one time my mom was like, I was on vacation. I told my mom, oh, can you take care of a little peanut for me? And she's like, okay, uh, what foods does he like? I'm like, oh, his favorite treat is carrots. So what she did is take a, so he's actually kind of picky. He actually likes carrots only when they're chopped up and really small and julienne. If you give him a big chunk, he's like, what the heck is this? 
So what did my mom do? She said, oh, he likes carrots. So she threw a big carrot at him. So she just put it in his cage and like, here, peanut, here, peanut. And he's like, oh, I'm scared. But my brother's like, your mom, that is like, mom just threw a whole big carrot in Peanut's cage. And then like, so he was sorry, he was scared of carrots from that point on. I'm like, oh. But again, Peanut is like your cells. He likes it in small parts that he can actually eat. So your cells need your food digested into small particles that they can actually eat, absorb, and use for nutrients and energy and maintenance. All right, so again, a lot of healthy college students and say college in the session, they're all hungry for hamburgers. Again, apologies to you if you're vegan, but are you just going to, okay, they're all hungry for hamburgers. Are we just gonna have that cow? Are they gonna just take their knives and dig and get their hamburgers that way? No, again, you need to process that cow. You need to cook it somehow. Same with physical and chemical digestion. So physical, again, taking it into smaller chunks and chemical, breaking it down and cooking it for your cells. Or just like say you have a bunch of cells in a petri dish, just like the cell, or kind of like the cells in your body. So can you just take food and just plop it on your cells and expect it to absorb it? No, again, it's not going to be efficient and the cells can't absorb it in this huge form. So, oh, so physical digestion, breaking food into smaller particles and increases the surface area. So you may have done this experiment. I remember doing it all the way back in like, I mean, was that freshman year of high school? I don't know, but it was like, Okay, we did things about surface area and diffusion. So say you have a burger and then or a food, any food particle, you put it in your gastric juices and digestive enzymes. So what's going to happen chemically? Well, again, what part of the burger can act, or food particle can actually be digested by enzymes? It's only the parts that are actually touching the enzyme and chemicals itself, right? So slowly by slowly, the outer layers will be digested and digested. So again, the inside, if it's not touching the things doing chemical digestion, you can't get digestion, right? So slowly and slowly, you get digestion of the outer layers until you finally have the whole thing digested. Now, here we have the same food particle. Now we have a food particle chopped, the same food particle, but now chopped into smaller bits. So remember, whenever you immerse some food particle in chemicals and enzymes that help to digest, the outer layers are going to be digested first. So what do we have here? The outer layers and they're penetrating the food particle around the same depth in all of these particles. So again, digest the outer layer and repeat the process. So which digested faster, the intact food particle or the one that was chopped up? The one that was chopped up, right? It's already been digested. So again, this is why physical digestion, it seems pretty elementary, but it increases the efficiency of chemical digestion by increasing surface area. So this is why it's very important to chew your food if you want maximum nutrition at the fastest rate. So how do you break food into smaller particles? Well, physical digestion, you can do that. So again, you can't eat a watermelon as is. Can you swallow a whole watermelon? Again, if you can, um, well, don't. I don't want you dying to do some sort of weird TikTok or YouTube video. But again, when you have a water, basically physical digestion breaks apart food. Why? You're increasing surface area so that you have more efficient chemical digestion of those food particles. Again, more surface area, more interaction with the chemicals and enzymes, faster digestion as well. So chemical digestion. So what is that? Again, it involves enzymes and also, again, more surface area. And you want to break down what we call biological macromolecules. Again, it, we'll do a little review on that if you weren't here last semester. And also acids. So the thing about acids is that they help to denature things. And why denature? So remember those proteins you make, those polypeptides? If you like the tertiary structure, they always have a fold upon themselves. But a lot of them require like the positive and negative ion and some of the polar interactions. So they're glued together just kind of like little magnets, but they use electrical charge. If you're coating all the negative charges with neutral or positive charges and everything, you don't get the negative positive interaction, your proteins fall apart. So that's why acids are very important for digestion of proteins. So biological